is just an impromptu. Kind of, we are together, just so you guys know. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, this is an impromptu call. I, I don't typically do uh, Zoom calls, um, um, but uh, sometimes the spur of the moment, we had no idea what we were um, getting into. We've always been an advocate of real property. Um, been investing, been on Wall Street, been in crypto, been in a lot of different things, been an entrepreneur, been into capitalism. And uh, along the way, you meet some exciting, great leaders. And uh, being into this industry, uh, some of the people that you really like, some of the people that make impacts on your life, one being is the upline, the, the young lady that you just met, um, um, uh, who is our upline that Nicole was looking for a phone and being in crypto, knowing we have different wallets and we have multiple businesses over multiple jurisdictions and encryption and codes and 2FA and, and you always feel exposed and you always feel um, uh, intruded upon. So you keep these connections and you work in the debate long enough and then we're looking for a phone and who do we see? Somebody, we already have a relationship, somebody that's, you know, believes in innovation, technology, capitalism. And the answer to our blockchain search for a phone came to an end with a gal we've done business with for years. So that's always a great which, feeling. Which is Nicole Burchette. Which is Nicole Burchette. <laughs> so, Welcome to the call, Nicole. Say hi. Just let me check my you're, hair. You're muted, Nicole. Okay, does that sound better? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay, so, good. just tell I, us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been involved with the company, and how you got started. Yeah, so, well, first of all, I met you guys, oh gosh, um, back when no one knew about crypto, and you guys really had a vision and taught me a lot, and I was part of, um, you know, a project that, allowed me to be where I am today because of you guys. And it's just amazing. I think how relationships kind of like resurface and, um, you know, a lot's happened in the crypto space. And then I've been, I'm a total like freedom fighter. Right. So like, I really believe in, um, people's freedom, a uh, freedom of speech, their rights, um, their digital freedom. Like I've, I've been censored off two social media platforms. Now I am banned on Facebook and on TikTok simply bring things that are um, not on their agenda, whether that's, you know, I don't think masks are right, or I don't believe in vaccinations, or I want this person to be president. The point is, is we're not allowed to speak freely anymore. Um, it's coming more and more control every single day. And so this phone was shared to me in, in a pre pre launch about eight, nine months ago, and I signed up for free. And I said, Okay, I like this concept, but I'm going to wait until you're shipping the phones. You know, we've all been in pre launches and some things never work. And, but what I didn't realize is that this company has been working on, um, they're a 12 year old tech company and they've actually been working on this for almost, I think 11 years. Um, cause their background is in software and in programming and, and all of that energy and storage and, um, so actually my phone showed up at my house on Thanksgiving. So we're talking four months ago um, because I was one of the first 10 people that they had asked to be part of this project. And when I got the phone, I started, I wish I would have it with me, but I mean, look at my, do you see my snowstorm right here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of a snowstorm and she's like, how did you forget your phone? And I'm just like, well, cause I'm still carrying around both my phone. These are the phones we have are Androids and they're different service towers and we lost like all reception and so i just left it at home plugged in but um <laughs> when they sent me that phone i started um watching all the videos and i just it was thanksgiving night and i hadn't even put the phone together or turned it on i just started watching the the videos about the phone and i had like chills all over my body it, it was like it was like i haven't been promoting anything you know multi-marketing for a while and I had been building my following, my freedom following. I had almost 20,000 followers when Facebook blocked me, just sharing about freedom. And then this phone landed in my lap. 
Like I just felt like it was meant to be. And it was something that whether you're in marketing or not in marketing, like everyone can relate to your phone, your privacy, your data. Um, and basically the rest is history. I had, I had chills everywhere and I was like, I don't even know how this phone works, but I'm going to get on here. I'm going to do a video and I'm going to share. And I went live on Thanksgiving and, you know, now I hold the largest team in the company and uh, more and more people are waking up to what's happening between censorship, between tracking, um, all of that. And so I feel like this device is just the beginning of a freedom movement um, that is that gathering a lot of attention, not just people like us, but people, um, companies like Parler. I have apps coming on here that are going to be plugged into our phone. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, where did I leave off? Where did you guys lose me? Well, the, the, the phone fell in your pocket. Apps. <laughs> and apps. You're talking about okay. apps. Okay, so I'm not just looking for people like you and me to share this mission. I'm looking for big people like Parler that are tired of the Apple and the Google censorship and control. So this, is, this goes bigger than just people that, you know, want their freedom of speech. Um, it, it, it's, it's about the control. And this is just the beginning of the vision of where this is going. Um, and, and we're just getting started. So there's only, I want to say 10,000 people or so in the company right now. Um, but it's going faster than I can even like keep up with. So I'm so glad you guys are just you see the vision and you're bringing amazing people um, to what we have because I think anybody who gets in, it's going to be like, I love the post you did, Andy, about um, the next Bitcoin because I truly feel this will be bigger than Bitcoin in a different way. And I thought your post, I shared it to our group because I just thought it was, that's how I feel about this. I feel like not everyone can buy a Bitcoin, but if they partake in grabbing shares and what we're doing in this network, this freedom network, I, I think it could be bigger than Bitcoin too. So well, I'll leave it there and let you lead the call. But um, yeah. that's kind of just a background. So I've been in, I've, I've been part of this since basically Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, thank you for wow. sharing with us. Yep. Thanks for being a great leader and thank God we already knew you and you're well ahead of the education curve. But we've always said from day one, um, we've shared and looked at Bitcoin. Um, very rarely in our industry, and I've been around for a couple of decades, and I've owned, and, and we look at, very rarely do Fortune 500 companies partner with a company that has a distribution arm that, that really supports capitalism, entrepreneurship, and these are very, very rare. That's when I dropped what I was doing to jump on this, because everybody in this industry knows that there's some challenging companies, owners, products, and you got to filter all that stuff out. And we've been blessed and we've been caught a couple of times. But along the way, you meet the people that understand the building blocks of not only network marketing, but as individuals, as human beings, as people that create trends and people that create change. And one of those people that I'm blessed to have known and who's helped me out technically with, uh, because I can talk about it and I can understand it. I can write an algorithm, but I can barely type a sentence. I'm dyslexic and I don't do well with operating type systems per se. I understand them in my mind, but one of those analytic people that I love and I've gotten to know very well, who's very successful in his own right, I, 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 I met him to... throughout the years, I'm sure, and hopefully had some kind of influence. I don't want my picture And now he leads a... He's a professional online. entrepreneur. He sees a trend. He took advantage of it. He understood market penetration. He grew a group of people and he yeah. monetized it and he puts out good quality information. And it's Bitcoin lifestyles. Mm -hmm. And his name's Caleb, Caleb Wright. And when Caleb looked at this opportunity, he understands the power Caleb. of what we're doing. So okay. Caleb, say hi, brother. I love you, man. I've known you for years. We've danced together on the streets of Spain. So <laughs> at least uh, say hi to the folks. Um, tell them about what you do and tell them about what you loved about when you saw decentralization of data. Absolutely. Very happy to be here and talk about this. I'm extremely excited about this. This is something that 
I've been thinking about for a while, being very uncomfortable with all of the uh, hey, corporations' yeah, access yeah. to our data on our phones. Does everybody hear me clearly? I can hear no. you fine. Everybody yeah. hears me very clearly? Okay, I just want to make sure before I went too far no, into it. All right? But, I can yeah, hear um, like Andy was saying, um, I've, uh, I've, I've been very, very successful in the cryptocurrency all market all in regard to trading and mining it all right and since, since uh 2015 and uh yeah okay i was hearing like some other speaking or something it was just kind of disrupting my thought there but uh if everyone could just make sure that their microphone is muted or whatever all right that would be great all right so but yeah i've been very successful in cryptocurrencies since 2015 um <clears throat> To say the least, and I've helped a lot of people from all over the world since then with a video-based education and mastermind group that I've been running since 2015, back when Bitcoin was worth only $250 per coin, which is when I started investing in it and learning how to trade it against altcoins in order to maximize and grow my Bitcoin. And it's just, it's it's changed my life tremendously in more ways that I could even describe. And I'm sure that many of you understanding a price rise to like where it's at today, how life changing that could be. I've helped a lot of people along the way. But, you know, something that has always been a danger and something, something I've spent a lot of time helping people with is their security the security of their crypto because it's so easy to jump into this crypto game not know what you're doing because you're just excited and end up getting hacked and losing all your crypto i've known someone from the early days and i'm very sad to say that i that i know someone that's lost over a hundred thousand dollars in their account just because they didn't use two-factor authentication and it's just a sad thing. And this is what I work so hard to make sure everybody that I teach about crypto, one of the very first things they're learning to do before they get involved with even buying crypto and trading it with the strategies that I teach is learning how to secure everything involved with the crypto experience and interfacing with buying and using crypto. All right, it's very important. So, okay, so this is where the importance of this phone comes into play. This is why when I learned about this, I spent all day watching all the videos that I could and learning everything that I could about this because I knew, you know, with myself, I practice everything that I can for security. I even use physical security keys, all right, because I know that I'm a big target out there. I have to be extremely careful, but something that makes me uneasy, okay, because I do enjoy to use some mobile wallets, all right, I recommend cold storage wallets, but just the fact that our phones, our everyday phones, our iPhones, our Androids are compromised at the hardware level. And the fact that there's a couple hundred people at companies like Google and uh, Google and, and uh, what's what that have your information, okay? Uh, and Apple, Google and Apple, because and Android and iPhone, all right? And there's a couple hundred people that have access to everybody's data. Now, we're supposed to trust all those people, okay? We're supposed to trust all those people and that not one of them might end up having some sort of criminal inspiration in order to get into the data of people that they figured out that are very successful with cryptocurrency or to sell the data of people to the dark web, okay? So there's something we have to worry about. And so this device helps us to block out the, the cookies that would be attaching to our device. And there's trackers that are built in by the companies, Google and uh, Apple, in order just to track our every single movement on the phone, which includes they know exactly what apps that you're using at all times, what you're doing with those apps. That's valuable data, all right? That tells, you what, that tells them what kind of person you are. Now, in this age moving forward, there's a lot of futuristic kind of like looks at what could happen with cryptocurrency. And basically, it's scary. And you want to implement a high level of security with your crypto and also with your identity. Like you, aren't, you don't really want to have like where you're able to be found all the time, even when, when you're highly into crypto. So this phone is just 
anybody that's into crypto, this is what you need. And I think beyond crypto, there's so many reasons, um, like was just mentioned earlier, why even beyond that, that we need to be careful because we're just moving further and further, further into a futuristic age where the, the danger of hackers and what, and what can be done with your identity and your financial information, uh, getting it onto the dark web because we're using devices that are compromised, people are able to access it. That's dangers that you want to avoid, especially as you become increasingly financially successful. The last thing you want to do is uh, set yourself up to be an easy target so your crypto can be taken, okay, and then your dreams are stolen. So you don't want that. So that's where this phone just really attracted me. Right off the bat where I purchased the, uh, you know, the highest level phone that was available in this right off the bat, and I'm ready to be a pioneer of this because I know that we need a new way. We can't keep going with what we've been doing, okay, because it's just going to be too dangerous for everybody. So that's that's the value that I see. Um, I see a lot of value in this. I'm very excited about this. So um, you know, looking, at, I've seen a lot of companies and, and projects and things in my day, and I try to only be involved in things that are truly revolutionary and game changing. Because as you know, I mean, what's going to be more game changing than crypto? Very few things. Okay, there's, there's some things that are up there. This is this is up there. All right. And so huge opportunity here. Huge opportunity here. Well, I appreciate you coming on, Caleb, and sharing your thoughts. And uh, I think this is a uh... Like I said before, whenever a Fortune 500 company reaches down and has an, a distribution arm or an affiliate plan. This so company is partnered with Hewlett Packard yeah, and it, AMD. I just exactly. want to throw that out there. Didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. You just want to throw no, that no. out there. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to mute myself. No, so pipe up whenever you want. Everybody's sick of you know being scammed and these. You see bots for this and automated that and give us your cryptocurrency keys or or whatever it might be work from home opportunities right now it seems like they're challenging and because a lot of the times it's it's one of three or four different components it could be the comp plan it could be the owner it could be the product it could be underfunded under established not have the ability to have market penetration not be able to financially liquidate or have the wherewithal to you know, survive a COVID-19 year. So when you combine a Fortune 500 company that has an established track record of security in the internet business like Hewlett Packard and this, this young man that's uh, a genius in my mind, the, the components and the ability to achieve privacy um, through blockchain encryption. I mean, we have more, what, 2FAs, uh, codes and passwords and wallets and crypto that like Caleb said you're vulnerable but let's take it to a whole nother level let's look at what's happened on the standpoint of the world look at all the propaganda look at all the attacks spyware malware um, hacks um, sharing of your information because there is no co uh, consequences to the actions of a few when a bank uses your information to open up a erroneous uh, bank account and they get caught what happens they get fined a million dollars well that's nothing when you're bringing down 200 billion a quarter or when facebook sells you out and we know this that they're tracking us they know where they're recording everything so on the safety from a financial standpoint a personal finance from a family standpoint that is asset and i've said this many times on world stages i speak internationally Several years ago, I could see where this was going. When data becomes the asset, they're selling you out. You're a piece of property. There's no safety. There's no security. And in a heartbeat, look at all the people that have been censored or for fake news or missed news or fact-checked or expelled or kicked off a platform because their views are different than somebody else's. This is socialism. And I won't get into all that. Let's keep this... So we have a solution to, in my mind, is it's, it's much grander than that. It's, it's good versus evil. I mean, we've been manipulated and the procurement of the data is used against us. It leads us and misrepresents and starts strife within the cultures. We don't need all that. 
Big government is not the answer to our problems. Censorship is not the answer to our problem. And you have an elite few of people making a lot of decisions for all of us, and we don't all agree with that. Wouldn't it be better to have an, a, an, a, you know, an autonomous self-fulfilling platform where you could speak your mind, where your actual view or opinion wasn't censored? Because what are we talking about? We're talking about the first, sixth, seventh amendment, freedom of speeches. And um, we've gotten censored to a point where we, the people, need to rise up and say, hey, we have had enough. Quit selling our data. Quit lying to us. And this is a guy that I believe, now I've not met him. Most of you know I won't join a company until I've, I tip, we, we spent years, last two or three years, flying around the world just meeting different owners that had different opportunities, investments. From strategic like levels, no. wines, diamonds, you <laughs> name it, we've done it. Just kidding, story, the story. <laughs> so when this happens, when you have the ability to control your own data and really take your life back, Bitcoin introduced cryptocurrency, cryptography in a decentralized, autonomous way that gave we, the people, our money back. Now we have the ability to get our freedom back, our data back, our ability to express ourselves and engage and collaborate with others without censorship. And that's what this, forget about the coin, forget about the, the, the phone. What it does in and of itself is spectacular, don't get me wrong. So now we've had two major disruptions in technology that are going to change the world. We did it with Bitcoin, and now we're going to do it with Clear United, and we're going to do it with decentralized data. Yeah. And that's where we're heading, folks. So that's my two minutes um, of fame. And Caleb, you want to add something? Nicole, you want to add something before Nicole gets into a couple of the features of the phone here? Yeah, I got one thing to say. Is right, that brother. This is something that I see as a great way to fight back against an encroaching Orwellian future. That's Amen, just something brother. that came to my mind in the past day. I think I might have said it to someone else, but that's one thing I would have to say. Hey, Caleb, just briefly, under, expand upon what your thoughts are of Orwellian. Some people may not be um, okay, so understanding of that idea. George Orwell, uh, what, what was that book called that he wrote? Was it 1984 or something like that? But basically, he was very prophetic and predictive of uh, a high technology future that would encroach into everyone's lives and change the, the world completely as everyone knew it, but in the worst ways. And that's a lot of what we see happening uh, as a trend recently. And I mean, <laughs> maybe the past. Uh, 21 years um since the since the internet boom and the advent of social media platforms which who knows how long that they've had their agendas we only just took a while to figure it out i agree nicole thanks for sharing that i, I appreciate you caleb i do um thank you nicole, always you want happy to have add before we get into some of the phone features here and what it can do protect and save and all that kind of thing um, actually, yes, I have a surprise. I have the owner going to pop on and say hi here. <laughs> what? Yay. Oh, there you go. That's, That's so great. great. So, so just yeah. Know, can you introduce him? Not everyone on the call may know who the owner is. Uh, I'm hearing echoing again. Oh, okay. Um, is it Everybody's just got to be good about muting. Yeah, please meet yourself if you could, folks. If you, well, if Nicole, when you introduce the owner, just make, make sure you introduce him. Because nobody, um, there might be some people here on the call who don't know who the owner is. Yeah, I will, but they're still echoing. Hmm. Let me Maybe, can everybody yourself. mute their phone? I think it's because you guys have two Zooms open, right? Is it better now? That's, um, kind of. Let's see. I just want to make sure he has a clear message to say hi. Hold on. Let me see if he's jumping on here. Um, let's see. Go to chat. Let's see. Do you see him pop? Oh, there he is. I see him. He just popped in. Hey, what everybody. I want to introduce Can you, Michael Proper. Well, Thank welcome you, to your call, Michael Proper. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Yeah, thank you, Michael, so much. This is literally an impromptu call that um, one of the top people in the, um, in the crypto industry that I've known for since I began in crypto five years ago, Andy and his wife, Nicole, 
Um, we haven't really touched base since the beginning of crypto. And, you know, he only works with revolutionary products. He's got some massive leaders on the phone in the industry. They love what you're doing. And usually they will fly out and meet you kind of like I did before they jump in and share. But they, they just, they're like, Nicole, we got a bunch of leaders to learn, jump on. So I just, I just thank you for being able to give us, you know, a couple minutes and just say hi. I know we'll schedule another call later, but um, I don't know. Why don't you, um, Nicole, he's got just like two minutes. If you just want to, you know, ask him just something that you would like him to t talk about really quick or what have you. <laughs> Unmuted. Um, hold on. <clears throat> well, she's unmuting. I just wanted to say hi and thanks for taking the time, especially on President's holiday, to gather and at least believe in something that's bigger than all of us, something that can unite all of us and is important, especially during this time. But um, the, I think the biggest thing that I could relate is to help you all know that there's no difference between any of us. You may watch videos with my face on it and hear me talking about different things, but ultimately I'm just like you, just trying to add value in life and uh, convinced that through a lot of hard work and years of understanding, you know, almost well over a decade, that um, decentralized systems are absolutely true principles and important for mankind in general. Um, and if you're just kind of understanding what a decentralized system is, we look forward to helping you to see that in the future. So with that, I'll just stop. But I really, I guess the net net is believe in your own voice. <clears throat> I don't come out of the MLM world, but I do know that the individual's voice is what's going to actually make the biggest difference in this whole system that we get to live in today. So, and Nicole, yeah. thanks for all you do. You're, you're absolutely amazing. I'm, I've been amazed to watch you just fight as a mother, as a woman, and it's just been awesome to see you just do what you do every day, whether it's sliding down a hill with a drink in your hand or doing a dance to get people. To Michael, I have one question for you, brother. You name it, Andrew. I see your vision. I do. <laughs> I see it very clearly. But my one question would be is, what took you so long? <laughs> If you only, well, <laughs> I do there, know <laughs> there, are, there is so many details. I mean, so many details, but in all reality, it's actually, they're pretty simple models, but they're very difficult to execute and to deliver. And um, at the scale that it needs to be duplicated at, you can't miss it. And so you've got to measure 52 times and then cut once. And there's just a lot that goes into it. So it has taken well over a decade. And, um, but I can say, you know, we've got more than five times the Bitcoin infrastructure as far as nodes in the world. And that's even if a small percentage of them adopt when it's the right time. But um, you couple storage infrastructure, kind of like these types of systems with phone infrastructure like these, and you literally have just a different kind of compute ecosystem that's organized for man. So. But there's a long answer for a simple question, Andrew. Well, the 10 years or so, or seven, eight years, we've been involved with crypto and different projects we've done from mining, staking to, um, I've written an algorithm, I've had a, a coin created, I've put it on an exchange, I've been through the rigmarole. Uh, here's what I will do for you. How about I say a prayer for you for energy, strength, and vision? Because most people I deal with, they don't realize how rare it is for a company of this stature to reach down into capitalism where we are and make it fair and equitable for the people. And that, my friend, is something I admire. So Andrew, thank you. Thank you for seeing it. Um, one world, one people, period. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate your time. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, Michael, really quick. So Andy, when he contacted me, he's like, well, why didn't I hear about this in November? <laughs> so that, that's his only complaint is that he didn't hear about it when it started. And I tell him, we're just getting started. So just to, tune on in. Um, they have a lot of questions and I keep telling them everything's subject to change right now, but um, it's getting closer and closer every day, so. Yeah, well, I truly do appreciate y'all coming on. We, I saw this two days ago. I'm unprepared. Um, I'm absorbing as much information as humanly possible. We made one post on uh, 
on Facebook. And I think between the three of us, we got, I don't know, 400 responses or something like that. So we figured we'd do a quick overview of, of, of what we're in, our endeavor is and uh, uh, struggle through it, but you got to start somewhere. So um, I look forward to some talks and I really appreciate what you've built here. This is a, a lifelong worth of work um, and dedication to a cause and I really appreciate that. So thank you, Michael, and I appreciate you jumping on the call. Thanks for that, Nicole, appreciate it. Thank you, Michael, we know you're busy. We'll let you guys kind of go do your due diligence, know that uh, we're here, and when you're ready for questions, or you're ready for support, or the bottom line is you're ready to start shipping product and getting it set up, we're here for you. We don't plan on growing a big corporate headquarters, and as a matter of fact, we measure our success by the ability to actually keep a very small uh, footprint the smaller, the better, and using automation and technology and systems and processes to scale and grow. But we understand that we've got to do support and other things, which I'd say the support will be a core competency today. I mean, we've got a history, deep history of it, but um, today it's absolutely not. But um, the technology works. The phones work. I give you my word, they'll work just as good as anything you got in your hand today, whether it's the best Apple or the best Android system. Um, but it'll actually be a system that will set you free, not just today, but in the future. Um, if you don't have a slide deck where um, Nicole can get you that, um, but ultimately it's going to take some time for you to come up to speed, whether you learn about it from a technology standpoint, from an economic standpoint, from a, a process structure. Uh, it's really a, a technology company that's intelligently organizing open source software to fight with big tech, not fight with big tech, to give you an option to replace big tech. Yeah. And, Dominate. and then literally combining communication as well as help, as well as ads in a market that Anything that you've done in the, in the existing MLM or direct sales world would pale in comparison. The, the lotions, potions, vitamins, mineral oils, they're really literally just a percent or two of this market that we're talking about. One thing I always try and help folks to know, please don't think about this like your next MLM or your grandma's MLM. This is not an MLM. It's very different. It's influencing based upon who you are. So if you get a phone and you actually start understanding not only the history of it, or even when you, it sounds like a lot of folks here, Andrew, you guys understand proof of stake, proof of work. Well, in this ecosystem, it's all about proof of life, who you are, what you do, where you go. So think about everything you've learned in the Bitcoin world with proof of work and apply that to proof of life. But it's at the same time, imagine that this element of clear can actually transact within full settlement within three seconds and basically for free. It's literally, it's the whole network is, as it's built can almost just do it straight at free. So imagine where Bitcoin is like a savings account, clear will be like a checking account. Um, but ultimately it's about how we communicate, how we share, and when we go through it, how we also build our own digital lives with our physical lives in a very transparent, clear way, and how we care about one another. There's a form of Clear United. Clear United is the business, for those of you that are new to it, that has a membership. And that membership is a private membership association where we come together and we do things in such a way that is better for mankind, womankind, for all. But in so doing, we actually go right back to our constitutional rights. It doesn't matter what part of the world you're in or jurisdiction. I'm specifically talking about those that are in the U.S. primarily because this is the hardest market to penetrate because it'll be the last market that adopts crypto by standard, primarily because the U.S. has so much to lose. I won't go into the details there, but the bottom line is thank you for taking the time to understand what this work is about know that we will be very accountable to you and serve you but we really need you to do the right level of due diligence to understand what this is about and we talk about 
you know, seeking to understand first, then to be understood and share. There's a couple of folks that are really nailing it from an awareness standpoint. And they're basically, they're just asking people, hey, if there was a privacy phone that was out there, that's actually, you know, the future of communications and future of technology and future of even elements of, of value exchange, would you be interested? And, and pro probably similar to your post, we're getting a lot of people that, you know, it, we're, we're actually doubling, not every quarter or every month, but we're doubling week over week over week over week. And there's nothing that can stop the growth around the supply chain that we've built. Um, we can ship 10, 20 million phones this year. <coughs> we just have to build the processes to scale on the back end for how the actual the dollars and cents flow because that's the weak point um, is the payment gateways and the infrastructure on the financial systems because I'll be bold on a recorded call. The fiat system will be replaced with a digital system, period. And this is a major, major component of the future digital system, decentralized ID built with decentralized phones delivered on decentralized storage. And these phones are actually probably the simplest part of it. Yeah, you can put them in your hands and you can do everything, all the things you're used to doing, and then some. But what you feel and touch is a very small part of how this whole thing comes together. So please um, take the work very seriously to a standpoint of it's not just telling your grandma or your brother-in-law or your buddy at the bar about some new type of widget that's on the market. We're at war, people. Literally, we're at, we're at a moral war. We're at a currency war. We're at a cultural war. We're at a trade war. Yeah, we don't have different boots of different soldiers or bombs dropping, but um, if you just got your eyes open, our liberties as people, not just as, as Americans, but as mankind, they're literally be taken. They have been, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a system that can build decentralized systems that can't be taken down. Kind of like what we've already seen with Bitcoin that will actually be able to enable the people and their voice, the honesty, the transparency, the virtues to be able to literally um, take us into the next millennium. And so the individuals can actually, we can have peace, we can have freedoms, we can have independence. And I'm not saying that countries are bad, I'm not saying centralized systems are bad, but where the individual's not the individual, where you don't not have the control, a yes. where you don't have your own data, where you don't yeah. have your own control. Yeah, so I guess you guys get that. Um, I'll just say thank you one more time and bugger out, but happy President's Day. and. We'll talk to you whenever we connect. Hey, I really appreciate it. I mean, gosh, you just made us think. We feel like we won the lotto, Mike. I mean, come on. No. Nicole's just got it. There, there's a couple. Nicole, I committed to her. Oh, you got a hard line to me. If you ever need me, ping me and I'll drop things. So, But I'm just, we're grateful that people are actually listening. We can't. Oh, they're going to do more than listen. We'll engage. Yes. Thank you. We will engage. Yeah, he, Michael, he's definitely one that he'll want to be in your back pocket phone dial too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well thank we you we don't waste we don't waste time around here <laughs> it's awesome as we said before nicole you go girl we'll talk to you guys later <laughs> thank Bye. you well there you have it that doesn't happen every day in your life and uh, an opportunity where you get the chance to uh, have an owner come on the ceo the man the brain the genius um in a company you've been in uh, all of what two days and we just ordered our two phones and and so we'll start the process. That was awesome. Thank you very much, Nicole. Appreciate that. Yeah, I hope that was okay. I just said, hey, are you busy? Can you jump on? And that's just who Michael is, though. He's so in touch with the people and there for you if you need and as busy as he is. I've, I've been up to his office. It's been a couple of days there. Like, it, it's nonstop. So for him to do that is just amazing. But you know what? And he's more about the mission. He's not even about the sales of the phone. He really wants people to understand the big picture of decentralization, of earning. Eventually, you guys, you're going to be earning the clear token for using 
our storage for using our internet. So it goes so deep. It's more than just like picking up and calling someone privately. So anyhow, I'll let you finish your presentation now, but thanks for letting me allow him to pop on and say hi. Well, we appreciate Thank you, you coming. And uh, as we, if we're gonna start talking about, uh, we appreciate you having this and sharing this with us, Nicole. Um, we're gonna start talking about the phone a little bit. Anything you wanna share with us uh, going forward here, Caleb, before we start talking about uh, the phone? Just that I'm just loving this and I just really love what just happened. Um, <laughs> wow, he, Michael Proper, he is awesome. Th thank you, Nicole. And I'm excited to learn more about uh, the phones here. Thank you. Yeah, I am too. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. All right, Nicole, let's start talking about this uh, technology. Okay. I'm totally confused because I've never had two Nicole's on the phone before. So <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny when Michael's like Nicole's and I'm like, we don't think we I know, oh not we well, yes, the other Nicole. Okay. And then Andy's like, Is there anything you want to say? I'm like, no. <laughs> but I'll get used to it. You know when um my kids are in school and if there was somebody else who had their name, all of a sudden your first initial of your last name got added to your name, Nicole, we might have to start doing that or something. <laughs> all right, let me share my screen. Oh, wait. And I just opened up Sky. That's not what I want to do. It's oh, echoing for me. I'm not sure if anybody else is getting the echo. All right, let me see. I'm going to have to mute Andy. I think that's part of it. I'm definitely getting the echo. Is it better now, Nicole? Caleb? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Now, I actually just put these slides together quickly this afternoon. Honestly, um, Andy and I and Caleb, we, the three of us kind of just decided to do the Zoom call, like literally only a few hours ago. So it might not be completely extensive. Um, it's just kind of thrown together, but I think it will give you a, a good enough idea of like a general overview. It's really gonna be quick. It's not gonna go into a lot of detail. What I want you guys to do is if you have questions along the way, put them into the, ch uh, the chat group. Um, put your question in there. We'll, we can either answer them along the way or we'll answer them at the end, okay? Um, all right, so Clear OS. So a lot, I'm actually going to go through just a couple of the apps that are actually on the phone. So Clear phones actually have their own apps. Now, what I loved about these phones, not only do they have their own apps, but the biggest keys um, key about this, this phone was that you can actually still download the apps that we use and love every day. I mean, I was, I was telling Caleb the other day that for four months I've been on the market for a new phone and I just haven't taken the, the, the jump because um, I was looking at some privacy phones. Uh, I was looking at the, the Linux phones and they just, they're so private, but they don't allow any of the apps. I can't download my Facebook app. I can't download YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I can't have any of those apps. And honestly, unfortunately, at this point in time in our lives, those apps are still such a key part of our lives, it's hard to live without them. And that was, was I, I just couldn't make that jump. So when I came across Nicole's videos on YouTube, believe it or not, I, she was talking about this decentralized phone and I'm like, what? What, that sounds crazy. And, and you can still have your own apps. I mean, that was key to me. But what I love about this phone, though, is it will, it will slowly integrate into, you know, building communities to eventually replace those apps that we love. But in the meantime, it also has its own apps that are secure, that offer some, well, they offer, give us the privacy and the security that we're all looking for. So this is the first phone in the entire world that runs on a completely private network. And, oh, sorry, this is, I, I gotta remember the slides that I did myself. This is actually a gift, that's why it moves. Okay, so this is, it actually shows you, and maybe Nicole can hop on and, and jump a little bit and talk about this, but when you, when you, it doesn't track you. I mean, this is a phone that doesn't track you. You know how we've, we can leave the house and we're still being tracked. Our phones always know where we are. I think they even know where we are when we turn them off. I mean, it, they're pretty disruptive. I mean, there's been 
tons of articles stating that they can follow people. They know where you go. They, they know your behavior. And if you guys have ever watched the movie, The Great Hack, it's on Netflix. I recommend everybody watch it. Um, it was an eye opener, um, but it talked about um, how these phones, uh, there was a company in there, um, what was it called? Cambridge Analytica. And they actually called themselves a behavioral change company. They collected data. They stole Facebook data. They influenced the, influence the Trump campaign, supposedly. It's, um, it's, it's, it's wild. You have to watch it. But it was scary to know that they, that's how they actually, how they stated themselves as a behavioral change company. So these, these, uh, these phones are tracking us. They're tracking, you know, when we go to our doctor's office, how long we're staying there, when we leave, when we go to our boyfriend's house, you know, like, <laughs> God forbid you've got a secret boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Just joking. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is, you know, everybody knows the story about Parler. One day everybody could log into Parler, and the next day they just couldn't log into Parler. Uh, it was taken off the App Store um, for Google Play and uh, iTunes. So they're, you know, big tech is really kind of um, telling us uh, what apps we can communicate on and what apps we cannot communicate on. And um, kind of goes against the freedom of speech. Well, I found in history, all great change comes through we the people. We the people must experience pain before we have an action or a reaction to something that has encumbered our liberties, our freedoms, our, our being as a whole. And until you suffer enough pain, you don't make the change. And I think the last five years really a precursor of the future of how things are going to be dictated and how things are going to be manipulated. We already know macroeconomics in the world and the fiat system, the banking system. I come from Wall Street. I'm a 25 year Wall Street vet. I've done Forex, traded stocks, bonds, commodities, LIBORs, insurance. I've seen it all. And it's all, man I walked away from Wall Street because I could finally quantify it being manipulated. So what this does is give power back to the people. Remember, Bitcoin through decentralization, through autonomy, through consensus, gives we the people the power we need. We experience the great pain. We keep spinning around in this vicious cycle of monetary nonsense where we can't be expected to pay for everything. We live in a world and we try to survive and create and build businesses and endeavor in a world where fiat currencies have no value. So Bitcoin filled that void. I saw cryptocurrency or, or uh, cryptography when I was in the military for, it was an, a fancy word for accounting, where they had representation and tracking of ships and boats and troops and guns and so it's the same principle, it's just been applied and the variables and the algorithmic functions of this cryptocurrency is what brought us Bitcoin, what brought us this beautiful, um, we the people own our own currency, it's the first time in history. These are monumental changes, never in the world have we the people ever owned our own currency, our own money, it's unheard of. And now we're gonna be able to take back our lives, control our data, increase our privacy, and live in a world where we decide. Not some elected politician who quite honestly doesn't have our best interests at heart. These are all things that have come from the symptom, and the symptom was pain. These are all well thought out devices to help we the people to say, hey, wait a second, we're not all on board with this. And it's a systematic change. It's a, a change of behavior. It's a change of action. And um, you have to be engaged in it to make the change. And if enough of us grow together and make the change, why, of course, then we have a beautiful, long-lasting, passive residual in, in what? 
and cell phones and smartphones, but it's more than that. It's blockchain, it's encryption, it's, it's cryptocurrency, it's privacy, it's data. So now we're in two industries, cryptocurrency, blockchain, but we also now have decentralized data. Two areas and assets, I believe, that will continue to trend, be highly valuable. Remember, consideration doesn't have to be monetary, meaning value doesn't have to be money. Value could be censorship, value could be autonomy, value could be privacy, value could be data. So don't think of this linearly that, okay, it's a phone that's going to protect you from Facebook. It's so much more than that. When you start going into your back office, you can actually go into your, get a free spot with the person that shared this with you. Go in and explore the back office in the first place I would start to give you a grasp of what this man is trying to accomplish. It's huge. Watch a town meeting and look at the vision of where this is going and what this can be and how it is fair and equitable for we the people. And that's all, I'll stop on my rant right there. But wow, what a platform. I'm on board is all I can say. Yeah, no, it, well, it's true. This is more than a pho about a phone. And then Michael said that when he was on the call, it is so much bigger than that. And he's right, um, but it starts with the phone. So <laughs> let's go, let's continue. All right, so ClearOS is the operating system. Um, it's the safest, most secure internet, internet experience here that the, we've ever seen on a mobile device so far. So there's, you know, there's, it's going to block your ads. It's your uh, websites are going to load faster. Blocks trackers. It blocks back doors. Um, for parents, it blocks porn. And you can actually um, do that with your phone. You can actually control your kid's phone. I wish I had this and known about this when, before my kids bought a phone because now it's a little hard to switch them over. And they're teenagers. So <laughs> this has got the clear GM, which is, stands for Gateway Manager. And it's what protects your network. It's the, all these options here, you can actually turn on and off and you control now. Um, and you're able to take you know, your own security and your own privacy and you know, take that under, under your hat and take control. Uh, there's ClearGM. This is another feature of ClearGM. It's, um, it's actually showing you how you can set your own rules when you get your phone. Uh, there's no inappropriate content. So this, this is just going to show you a couple of the features that are on this phone. Now, some of you may have already seen these. If you've seen like the, the cute little commercial quality two minute, <coughs> two minute videos, um, which are fantastic. There's no trackers on these phones. So this is actually showing when somebody pulls up a website, it's showing you all of the the trackers that it has blocked from your phone. And now what also is great is every time you go to these websites, you're using up data to download this. So with clear phones, you're actually gonna use less data. Less power. Less power. Your websites are gonna load faster. Um, and not be constantly bombarded with propaganda. Yeah. And sales and tactics and manipulation. Yeah. I mean, no ads. It's just, it's fantastic. Well, this is show, this is shows a speed test right here. So they, well, this is um, when you go to the USA today.com website, it's just a test. It shows you the phone on the left is your, maybe your current phone that you're using. And then the phone on the right is the clear phone. And it just shows you how much faster it loads the whole website. So it's a cleaner internet experience as well. I mean, nobody wants to be bombarded with ads every day. This is the clear ID. Now this is brilliant. I love this. It's, you know, bulletproofing your identity. Um, when you get your phone, you know, well, with a Google phone, it has, you know, verifying your account. I think you verify it with email, you email, uh, verify it with your phone number. Apple has the password, I, Apple ID that we have that we're all familiar with. And the clear phone has a 12 word recovery phrase. Now, if you're involved with cryptocurrency, you're very familiar with this. Um, usually we get a 24 word password, but this makes your phone unhackable, um, secure and safe um, with the biometrics and the face ID. Literally, 
um, a hacker would need these, this 12 words to, to get into your phone. I mean, we've all heard stories about how, you know, hacker has called up either T-Mobile or Verizon um, and gotten a hold of, you know, pretended to be you and uh, they can actually get access to your phone. Um, we've heard we, of people who have lost their cryptocurrency and it's been stolen that way. And so, if you lose your phone? And if you lose your phone, you can use the 12 words to recover it as well. Okay. Yeah. So, and this can actually be shared with somebody that you trust and love, uh, protect or love. It could probably even be put into a will. So if your kids actually ever needed access to your phone, um, that's also a good security feature as well. So Clear ID gives you back total control of your online identity with these, this 12 word recovery phrase. For the first time, people everywhere will be in complete ownership of their online information, preferences, and systems. I mean, fantastic. I, I've been looking for this for so long. I'm so thrilled. Clear scan, this is another feature that you can have. Um, it actually measures your stress levels, your oxygenation, oxygen, I can't say that word, oxygenation levels there are great. There you go, oxygenation. <laughs> Oxen, there's a word for it. That's a, one of those English words. All early indicators of oncoming illness if they're out of whack. So um, if you actually track this and scan this on a regular basis, you'll actually be able to see fluctuations in your health and so therefore, when something is out of whack, well, now you can take care of it a little bit sooner, which is fantastic. Now it's got clear signal. This is what keeps all your conversations private, your text messages private. I mean, um, how many of you have been talking to your friend about something on the phone and then all of a sudden you're, you're being seen ads, you know, on, about that. It's amazing what they can pick up these days, but they can. Um, and that's just big tech, big tech companies, right? Facebook, Google, they're all you know, tracking us. I just want to say that, uh, you know, apps like Signal use Google services, for example. So this crushes any type of trying to be a privacy messenger type of thing. Those are all basically false. Yeah. The only thing I really wanted to keep private from you is I bought a boat. <laughs> So, so it does have its advantages. <laughs> uh, there's always one in the, in the group. So clear phone, it's really finally like a, a phone you can trust. And that's what we love. So I wanted to throw this up um, because uh, Nicole had been to um, headquarters in Utah to meet Michael Proper, who you see here on the left, who we just met. Here's Nicole here. Where's Nicole? All crazy in the front. Oh, there she is. Here's her clear phone. I wanted to put this on here because, you know, she left her clear phone at home and I wanted you guys all to know that she has one. Well, let's bring Nicole on and ask her about her experience at the home office and what she thought. Nicole, you still with us or did you do, uh, are you out snowboarding? Yeah, can you hear can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you guys. I, yeah. So because of the snow, I left my phone at home. That's no excuse. Shame on me. Um, you just, but you know what? I'm glad you said what you said because you never know who you're going to run into. I, I was like, I'm not going to see anybody. Well, I need my phone. I didn't even think about, you know, sharing with you guys on Zoom. But I'll tell you the experience at headquarters is just like on other, I mean, I've been in the industry for seven years now. And Michael Proper, it, it's just so welcoming. I mean, literally, you can drive up and pull into the front office, pick up your phone there. Everybody's so nice. It's so clean. They've got everything set up. You can look at all the products. Um, he'll spend time with you. It was just, he's, he's one of the more down to earth because he's not an MLM or you guys. He is a, he's a genius. He is probably one of the most genius people I've ever met in my whole life. And so... It was, it was amazing. I can't, we're going to have an event. Um, our, our official launch event is in June and we're going to be having another event right there. Um, I don't know if it'll be in Park City, Utah, but it'll be somewhere close to the home office and everybody will get to go visit. And it's so welcoming and anyone that wants to go there, we, I can connect you and you can stop in. He doesn't even have to be like an official event or meeting or anything. So it was amazing. I bet. So if you want to ask me something particular, I'll, I'll definitely answer you. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I love? He, he seems really genuine. I've only seen his videos, but in all his videos, he seems very genuine and very real and very down to earth. And I think he's very likable. And I think that's, um, you know, what it, it's great that he's such 
you know, the, the face of the company though as well. Well, here's what I think is outstanding. He has a vision. He has a way to implement the vision and, and penetrate markets, new markets. Uh, there's very limited uh, barriers to entry. It is in an industry that is trending, very lucrative, very uh, popular in cryptocurrency, blockchain, privacy, data. Um, it's, it's media um, is doing us a favor. Um, in my opinion, that's like automatic um, advertising for exactly what we're doing. But I think he has a vision. I think he's got a big heart. Anytime you see somebody um, that's going to share profits of a company of this stature, and 40% of the profits, now mind you, um, it's very easy to see where you can build a small group of individuals right now. I mean, it's easy, you bring in a couple of people, you'll pay for your phone and your, your, your services and those types of things, but as we grow and we become united, a group of us become very powerful. We, be, we become uh, individuals that uh, know freedom and we found the mechanism to do it. And these are one of, this is one of these opportunities where it might not be a quick hitting, you know, boom, bam, bing, and all this hype and all this crap, but, you know, high returns and all, you know, money coming from down from the ceilings and scantily clad women and fast cars, and those companies never make it past year three. We've all run down that rabbit hole and it gets tired, sick and tired. What attracts me the most? Now, beyond the technology and what it does for freedoms, we have an ability to attach and, and hold on to the, to the tailcoats of an emerging technology that solves a lot of unique problems and is very hot commodity right now. And they're going to let us monetize that, quantify that, and, and earn an income from that. You don't see Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, or any other damn phone company around the world saying, hey, if you bring in some companies, some, some people, I'll pay you five or ten dollars per person per month for the rest of your life. That's pretty powerful. This is one of these legacy builds. I mean, we all complain and moan and cry and whine about, oh, this company went out of business. This was a scam. I don't know him and all oh, this. Hey, stop it. We got something tried, true, proven, transparent, multi-million partnered with a Fortune 500. These opportunities are so very rare. I can only think of one or two in the 25 years I've been doing this that a corporate entity reaches down and allows us to, well, bear the fruits of, what, 10 years of development and labor and, and, and monies, and now he's going to distribute that in a way that helps the average person, will allow somebody to build a, a business, that's incredible. That's my kind of guy. I love it. So that's all I'll stop again. I know how I get. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so I just want to show this. These are the three phones. The, uh, actually, they just come in different sizes. Uh, well, and then you'll see the features on the, the checkout page as well. But some of them have, you know, more gigabytes. Uh, the 620 phone is what we've all purchased actually we're all waiting it's actually the same phone that nicole has that she was holding up in her photo earlier you mean the one she doesn't have on her right now yeah that phone okay <laughs> sure. it's a secret um i'm teasing her. And, it's all good. Uh, it comes it actually has the ability to put two sim cards in it it supposedly has one of the best cameras <coughs> on the market today for for mobile phones and there's um, been a lot of questions people right now you yeah. can buy this phone you can buy this phone, any of the three, I think, I think it starts around, what, it's a 500 up to $1,200, get it delivered, use it. Well, you're going to have to switch out the SIM card to, you know, use with your current provider. As this rolls out and the market penetration and customer acquisitions becomes mainstream and we find areas of need where we'll need to be in Russian or German or Chinese or whatever, what have you, and we bring up the back offices to support that need, That'll happen in time. Right now, you can get the phone, change out the SIM card, use your current provider, provider, and take take advantage of all the value and privacy and and things that we've been talking about right now. Now, what will further that security, privacy, and the grand scheme of things 
will being will be uh, being on Clear United's operating system. That'll be the next level of security. Is it open worldwide right now? No, but it doesn't need to. You can still download all the Facebook apps, Quitters, or or Alibaba, or whatever you want, wherever you are in your countries, wherever that is in the world, but still have the privacy, the encryption, the security of using Clear United now on their phone, but your current. Now, in the future, as you look into the back office, this has expanded a lot more than you think. So these phones, they're awesome. They are. But you can get started now. Um, payments and uh, know that you'll end up being uh, um, compensated through gold, silver, cash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the payment processes and, and cards and, and how you get paid is coming very rapidly. Right now, you're going to accumulate rewards in the back office. So if you make a sale, you're going to earn 10% of that phone. They're about 99% done with the comp plan. There'll be some final um, rules and changes, but it's very easy. I mean, very, very simple. And once those are in concrete, I'll go through those. We'll quantify those, show what that means. Um, okay, you're back up. <laughs> But uh, everything's active and go right now. I mean, yeah, okay. it's not like we're waiting on it. Yes, we're in beta test, but the functionality of of the uh, phones and the ecosystem is already well underway. So we're not waiting on, oh, we're going to come out with the phone. We're going to have the, no. We're not leading you down the right. It's here. It's ready right now. You can get a phone right now. Engage in the community, start protecting yourself, and move on down the road. Okay, now I'm done ramming. <laughs> you got your phone. See uh, how addictive phones are? Holy cow, you're on a Zoom and you can't get off your phone. Well, I'm talking to Nicole, so it's all her fault. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so, um, <laughs> all right, next one. Oh, I wanted to show you the comparison. So one of the questions we got is how large is the, how large are these phones? Now this is a 420 comparison, but it should give you a little bit of an idea. About the size of a refrigerator, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, we can all pick those up. You need a backpack. Well, Michael held his 620 yeah, on his phone when he was showing it to us as well. So the 420 is the middle, uh, the middle one, but compared to a Samsung S9, and then this one's compared to an iPhone X. So just to give you an idea, the clear twi uh, the 420 is a little, which that's the smallest, right? No, that's a Samsung. So actually, Andy that's has- That's the middle of the road. That's Andy, a, what? Andy has- iPhone 10? Isn't it? This one? Yeah. I think you have an iPhone 8 Plus. Okay. So Andy has an iPhone 8 that Plus. One. We took the measurements for the 620 before we bought it because we wanted to see how what the size comparison it worked out that it's about the same width as this phone and it's about an inch taller. So it's really just longer. Yeah. And it's about the same width as But this an is iPhone the same size 8, as 8, plus. 9, 10, 11 and 12. It just has different functions. So this size is the middle size. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, okay. it is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. This is what you get when you um, unpackage or unbox the phone. Um, just showing you quickly what, uh, you know, it actually comes with a case. So, hey, there, when was the last time you purchased a phone that came with a case? It comes with a charger. It comes with us. Does it come with little earbuds? Does it come with earbuds, Nicole? When was the last time a phone came with Ear earbuds? Uh, I've always had to buy those extra. Yep, it comes with earbuds. Sharp, yeah, so it, it ear comes with the earbuds and it comes with um, the case and the charger. Sweet. It's okay. a lot more than you get with Apple. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, so, and then this is, uh, we wanted to quickly go over the rewards plan a little bit because that's obviously pretty important too. I mean, why wouldn't you want to share this with the world? But obviously you can get paid to share it, which is fantastic. So um, it's pretty simple. The most simplest pay plan I've ever seen, actually rewards plan I've ever seen. Um, all you have to do is refer three people to get into the company pool, which is amazing. Um, so it's not even hard to do. Most people- But yeah, let's quantify it, break it down. It's very simple. Um, it looks like, uh, 
active members, 13927, 8124. So it looks like a three by seven matrix. Um, one or two of the uh, rules on the details of compression and or um, what qualifies you, whether it be a phone or whether it be one of the OS uh, monthly um, cellular phone plans qualify. So this is like 99% of the way done and complete. We just need a couple of details. But think of it this way. I'm, I'm not worried about the details in this. And think of it this way. Everybody you share a phone with, that you protect, help, secure. There's great value to it. They're going to use a phone anyway. They're, they're going to come in, whether they, if they buy a phone, let's say they, it's a thousand bucks, you're going to earn 10%. Anybody that they bring in, they buy a phone, you're going to earn 10%. Well, 9% for the very first, but after that, 10%. So first level, second level, you're going to earn 10% straight away on all phone sales. Now, the reoccurring passive residual is, every month that they sign up for the uh, the service the our own internet protocol type you know um, operating system they'll it, it's going to range anywhere from forty dollars to let's say 200 because some people might get a server or a router there's different there's different um, assets and different equipment that are all commissionable that protect save serve and so on so the way you really look at this is very simple. First and second um, circle, as they call it. Anybody you personally bring in, 10%. Anybody they bring in, 10%. And then as you move on down, you're going to open up different lines. So it's very easy, very simple. There's no monthly fees. There's no membership fees. There's nothing that is, is very difficult at all. When you go down to the bottom, these requirements say that you're going to need past drops, or I'm sorry, paid, paid drops. drops. Well, my eyesight's <laughs> not so great. To earn up to 7% of the company profit. Now, we haven't quantified exactly how that profit and what exact equipment and things that fall into that because it, 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 it's readily available. I just haven't got there yet. But we'll do a perform on the comp plan. This is very basic, very simple, um, very profitable. Think of it as a um, part ownership of the company. I mean, you're going to earn 10% of everybody that's on a, a cell phone plan, whether it be $40 or $200. Every month, day in, month in, month out, you're going to earn a passive residual income off of sharing one of the greatest products, decentralized data on the planet. And as this grows and as you build your business out, it goes down to seven levels deep. So it's powerful, it's very simple, it's, it's fair, it's equitable. And for those that go out and build a business and understand uh, the value, holy cow, this is unstoppable, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, but the I would think very um, the there's the 35 minute overview. If you haven't uh, seen it, ask uh, you know uh, ask to see it. Um, it actually goes over the comp plan. So simple. Oh, you didn't like my overview. <laughs> and it, it's well, he can actually show. I don't know. Shows it's fine. Your overview was just fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I I'd just like to comment real quick. Yes. I would just like to make a real quick comment that. You know, for me personally, even if it just had like the most simplest, like one off commission for sharing it, I would be sharing something that's game changing and helping to secure and save people's lives anyways. It's just, this is really nice. Yeah. Well, Caleb, you know, though, it's not about the money for us. We're w well beyond that. This is about. Same, same here. Same uh, here. It's just, it's about doing things that are going to make a positive impact in the world. Exactly. And we're, we're, we're all, I know that all three of us and probably, probably everybody here is liberty minded as well. Well, so. it's fighting back for our children so they have a fighting chance to even yeah. be successful in the future. Because I'll tell you what, they're encumbrance from the moment they come from the womb. And in this vicious cycle and uh, world we live in, odds are things will be very challenging is what I'm saying. So why not present a way that, well, I'm with you, brother. You know, I, I support you 100%.
Thank you. And, and likewise, really happy to be here with you guys. I'll let you, I'll let you continue. No, I'm, we're done. So what, um, oh, what I'd like to do at this point in time is take questions. I know that we've had questions in uh, chat groups and stuff like that. So if you do have a question, now's the time and we'll just take turns answering them. But you know what, guys, most of your questions, and, and I'm not opposed to questions, but I will say this. If you're on this call, you're at least remotely um, interested in what we have to offer. There is no obligation. What we want to do is lead a group of people into a new wave of understanding. But my thought is this. If you're remotely interested, go to whoever shared this with you. Go to the link. You can get a free spot. And you go in and you check the back office out. You go and meet the owner. You go and look at the programmers, the staff, the influencers. Go and look at the technology. Go look at the recorded town hall meetings in there that have vision that show you exactly the performance and the steps that we're taking to have a fighting chance. And then that's the way I look at it. And, you know, I could just retire and go down to the islands and be done. We really could. I'd drive Nicole crazy. I'd probably go in crazy myself. So I'm always looking for a project, just like Caleb said, something that's going to change the world. It's not about money. It's, it's about passion. It's about making a change. I have a question. So Caleb, if you have, or Nicole, or Caleb, if you have anything to add, are we done with what we Yeah, got? I just want to mention I was answering some uh, questions in the chat um during the whole thing and one of them that people was was uh, wondering about and i'm just going to mention it so that everybody that's listening in case they weren't looking at the chat people were just wondering from different parts of the world where they're coming from um you know they're wondering if they didn't have access to the clear network would they be able to connect their service providers because i was kind of yes. we were mentioning maybe names that they don't have access to in like uh south africa or australia like verizon yes. at&t but basically whatever the service provider is in your region you're going to be able to connect it to this phone just like you would be able to connect your android or iPhone to any of whatever it is that you're used to working with in your area. And that that's basically how that it would work. It would be just as universal as the other phones and the means to be able to connect it to a data plan. Exactly. That's good. Yeah, and that's true. In the future, these operating systems sometimes may, for whatever reasons, it may be geopolitical. We don't know. Um, some areas, of market penetration, you, you just can't, it, you're not gonna make any headway. So you won't ever be able to be on our quote unquote operating service, but that's okay. As long as you have our phone, you can use our phone and access your own Wi-Fi, internet, cellular company, and still be protected. Now, to get additional benefits and security and privacy, of course you would wanna be on our ecosystem because that's why it was built caleb made a very very astute observation earlier see this isn't on a personal level we've been we've been subdued and manipulated on a software level and it, what he had said about you're being attacked on a cell on, on a Almost on a cellular level, on a Hard, hardware level, on the hardware level, go. hardware level. There's a lot of truth in that. Guys, forget about you can still utilize all the things you're addicted to Facebook, Twitter and all snap and tick and talk. And we've got daughters and we watch all these crazy videos. We have one daughter. Well, <laughs> did I say daughters? Yeah. Okay. Our daughter. <laughs> You can use your own stuff. You can use your own apps. But you're gonna, well, they'd have to use the SIM card, right? Well, they put like a security fence around like exactly. these apps when you access it so that they can't, these apps can't do all of the things, the, the malicious things that right. you sign the agreement for every time that you're using it. You sign their updated t terms of service agreement. Um, you're not going to be subject to those things because the phone at the hardware level is going to protect you from that. 
So the savior is the hardware and the phone, not necessarily the provider of the circular connection or the, 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 the cellular connection. So as long as you buy a phone, you can use your AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, or, or whatever it is, wherever you live in your, it still applies. You're gonna have to change out a, a SIM card. Yeah. But other than that, it's still commissionable. At some point, we will get, and the, and the rollout that I saw was, let me think, US, Canada, Mexico, Europe, Asia. Australia. Isn't it? Australia. But it's coming this hey. year. This is the network expansion rollout that you're talking exactly. about. Because the phones are available everywhere right now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, just to make just make sure it's clear for everybody. Yeah, like Clear OS is available in the United States so far. Nicole, jump in if we're ever saying now, anything incorrect. Now, understand there's a difference between Clear OS and buying a Clear phone. Yeah. Phones, you can buy, order, and, and utilize right now. Just Oh, right. I mean, not the Clear OS. I meant the Clear Network. Clear service. Network, yeah. which is the operating set, uh, system, yeah. uh, w which provides you additional security. You can get in the U.S. right now, and they've started, like, what was it, $40 a month? They Nicole, 40. tell us about what we can do right now. What are the options as far as data security, privacy, and getting on, on one of these plans as an American? And what can we do if we live in Europe, Asia, Africa? Can we buy the phones? Are they commissionable? How do we get paid? And bring all that together for us, if you would, please. Caleb, you there? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, as far as I understand, uh, when you receive like a commission credit, it goes straight into the wallet on your phone. Yep. So that's a key thing to first understand how it's going to work universally for everyone around the world. Yeah, and ClearPay is rolling out. So um, eventually we'll actually, um, right now they've got a, a debit card, a MasterCard, and a, the visa is only going to be available for Americans. They've got a MasterCard debit card that's being rolled out internationally. I'm in Canada, so uh, you know I'm, I'm very aware of what's going on internationally as well. Um, the ClearPay will be available um, on the phone, as Caleb said. Um, as you share it currently right now, everyone's kind of earning commissions and they're being you know, tracked in our back offices. Um, eventually you're gonna be able to get paid out in um, what I, I heard actually, it was on a, listened to a town hall meeting a video that is in our back office last night. And Michael said eventually 300 assets. So I'm assuming some of those are crypto. I know Bitcoin and ETH is coming out that we'll be able to get paid in. I know that gold, silver, platinum, palladium, we're going to be able to get paid in all of those as well. Um, so it's, it's quite exciting. Um, it's, it's quite a, a large infrastructure for sure. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Of course. What about, okay, it's a no brainer for me, I'm getting one. Um, what about when you want to upgrade? Like, I'm sure it's gonna, they're going to get better and better. Upgrade the phone. Is that what you mean? Mm. That yeah. Would be a question like, for Nicole. So, what do you, exactly are you asking? What, like, what happens when you upgrade the phone or? Yeah, so you buy one outright and you're using it yet, excellent, you love it. And then they bring out something better, which generally technology that happens. Um, what do you, can you upgrade that sort of kind of thinking? Like throw that one way, buy another one or, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try to take that um, what, from how I can. Obviously, um, you know, technology is always changing. So they're always going to be pushing updates and updating you know, the, the phones, the software and everything. Right now there is an upgrade option. Um, we kind of have to go with it through customer support directly because it's not fully launched yet. But yes, people will be able to get automatic upgrade every two years or they can choose to send their phone back. And uh, like I've already had people order the 420 and then decide after like a month, hey, I want the 620. And all they have to do is pay the difference and send the phone back. And I think right now they're kind of customly doing that with each person. But I think after Excellent. we launch, there will be an upgrade procedure for sure. Definitely. Cool. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks, Nicole.
All right, do we have, um, Caleb, have we missed, I know you've been answering chat questions in the chat. Let's see, I think, uh, did we hit all the points that Andy mentioned? Um, I, I think that based on the chat that I definitely, we, we covered, it was pretty much to do, all the questions were to do with um, if they would be able to connect like their own regional service plan. So I think we covered like everything that's from the chat so far. Okay. Um, all right, fantastic. Well, other than- and I, I guess I do have one thing to mention. So it's like, I think as, as that many of you can hear, you know, we're, we're like kind of like in a launching phase. So there's stuff that's coming together. Um, and, and, and like, like Nicole mentioned, like, uh, the card, the debit card only being for the people in the U S that's not a thing I would worry too much about because there is going to be Bitcoin and Ethereum withdrawals coming soon. And then of course, there's also going to be the clear token, which is going to be the token of the network that you're going to be able to earn by using the phone or getting some of their decentralized storage nodes that I guess you'll be able to run and earn clear tokens for help, helping to provide like a node like people would do for the Bitcoin network. Uh, miners have their equipment and then they earn uh, Bitcoin, right? So kind of a similar concept um here and of course those devices would be commissionable as well which is like really interesting but uh yeah right that's something that we should mention i know that you know nicole at the beginning when she was speaking she mentioned that we are still at the very beginning with this company um there are only currently ten thousand people approximately in the company we act the company is set to go into pre-launch february 28th and then launch in June at the event that Nicole was talking about. So you guys couldn't be, this, there's not a better time or a better place to get started with this. Nobody really knows about this. Now is the time to share it. And now is the time where I think people are actually, after all of the events that happened last year, I think people are at a point where they are starting to wake up to the fact that their data is not private, that hacks, happen we've had so many facebook hacks um you know uh it's just been eye-opening the new movies that are coming out that um are, are just eye-opening as i said um it's it's becoming a scary world and i think that we do need to protect ourselves i really do and protect our children um they have especially our children they have no idea how much data is being collected on them on these TikTok apps and the, you know, the Snapchats and all this stuff. I know I, I think Caleb likes Snapchats, so maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a big user. I'm not a big user, but it's just, it's an interesting platform being one of the first, and maybe a lot of people didn't realize it, but it was one of the very first kind of like uh, privacy messengers without overtly being one. But that's what I found interesting about it. That's all. That's true. But, and I just mentioned it because um, my, my daughter's on it. So our daughter's on it. So, and it just, it scares me. It scares me all the, the information that she probably is putting out there on social media platforms because that's what girls do, right? To do, you know, get, be popular and all that stuff. So I, I am worried and I am scared for her privacy and her data that's being collected on her. And she is being fed ads all the time. And, and at that age, they're not, um, uh, they're very susceptible to whatever is being, you know, thrown in front of them. And they're, you know, they're, it's, they're, you know, the companies are marketing. So big tech, a lot of people are sick of big tech. You know, they're the richest companies in the world today. And there's a reason for it, right? So they're selling our data, but we actually have agreed in our terms and conditions that we sign every time we download an app, we are not reading the 20 pages of legalese saying, oh yeah, we, we agree that you can read our text messages because that's what's in there. They are reading our text messages. They are listening to our phone calls. So we just didn't know that. <laughs> so this kind of protects us and, and gives us a little bit of security and privacy that, um, and, and they're selling our data. And that's how they're, you know, when people are talking about something, you know, tennis rackets for instance, and then they're showing a whole bunch of tennis racket ads. I think mean, they're selling our data. They're making money off of us. So um, why shouldn't we make a little bit of that? I mean not we're not making it with this but i mean we shouldn't be giving it away just for free for them to make money they're already rich enough as far as i'm concerned so that's this is very my, disruptive that's my rant <laughs> this is a disruptive technology just like bitcoin basically 
So yeah, that'll disrupt their profit structure basically. Yeah. So, well, we need to attack it from a standpoint of action should have value, meaning somebody that logs into a, an account, an email, a, a Facebook through activity through, you've got to remember, um, why are we labeled as property and, and given a, a tax revenue number for lack of better words to call it, uh, to prove our identity. We have licenses to cut hair, to drive cars, drive trucks. I, if you truly understand the power of blockchain and decentralization, you should be able to identify yourself without ever asking for somebody's name, address, social security, tax ID, phone number, because it should be done by encryption works in such a way that true activity should validate your existence, not as a piece of property, but as an entity. And there's a big difference. If you truly understand what's going on here on a very fundamental level, there is no need for you to be tracked on bank accounts, social security, any of that nonsense. Those are all encumbrances to your freedom, meaning barriers that encumbrance you from succeeding on, on whatever level that is. And I think this company has a great vision of exactly where I want to be, exactly what I want to teach our kids and exactly what I want to pass down because that is the asset. Your data is for sale and it's being sold at a premium at your expense. So when we bring all this together and we end this up, that's what this is about with a, and we're going to, it goes a lot deeper than that. So this is just the first um, um, layer of the onion. We're going to peel back the onion and we're going to see some concepts that in the grand scheme of things, good versus evil and all those kinds of good things. This is one for the good guys. This is one for the, for we, the people. And if you understand that it's very powerful and, I, and you can quantify the value of it. Just like we quantified when all you guys laughed at me in 2013 for Bitcoin. I remember it. And you didn't understand what consensus was. You didn't know what, um, permissionless was or autonomy or or it, we're evolving network effect and, and technologies assisting us Caleb you remember and I, I don't remember if I was the one that shared cryptocurrency with you but I know I was early on in your and and however you want to say it cultivating and look at you I mean you've been highly successful in your trading and your educational platform and and people say well why do you well, you know, promote Caleb's th because you're missing the picture. It works like this. For every seed that you plant, whether it be Caleb or, or, or somebody else, Caleb's gone on now to support the platform, to, to really curtail his, his ideology. He supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin trading, the velocity. Re remember, monetary velocity, customer acquisition, unique customer wallets are what drives the value of Bitcoin. And I talk about this. So there's a, Caleb does a wonderful job. It's adoption is a major inspiration of what we're doing here, increasing is, adoption because that's what makes everybody win in the end and really helps that, if you might call it a technological revolution or whatever on multiple levels happen. Yeah. Every influence that's, that spreads the sphere of, of cryptocurrency and we the people owning, maintaining, control our own currency, every time we have a unique wallet, the ecosystem by design becomes stronger. The more people you have, the stronger the foundation, the more value it perpetuates. A bad situation is when you have very few people that own a lot of any said asset. So when you look at Clear United, now we're looking at millions of people. We solve a unique problem. And that problem is trust. That problem is privacy. That problem is our data being sold. So it serves a product or a problem. 
it's fair, it's equitable. I'm, I hate to say this, but this um, owner, uh, Michael. well, I, I like where he's thinking. I like where he's going. And I, I, I just want to say, Andy, like, can Go you guys ahead, hear baby. me? Oh, I am just so blessed, like, just listening to you. Like, I feel like you have the exact vision I do. And I, this has probably been the best call I've been on. But, like, I would right now promote all my new people to come to your call. Because I believe you and Caleb, too. I saw his phone purchase, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. These people see it. They understand. They know. So this is, like, the biggest possible breakthrough possible. Well, I believe that trust was the symptom of the creation of Bitcoin. I think it's ironic that the uh, algorithms and the white papers um, from whoever the author was on, 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 on blockchain cryptography came from a place of a forward thinking innovator that saw the problems and the sacrifices and the hardships that the fiat, the current fiat system bled on the people. So he said, here's a solution. Now that we had one solution, one blockchain from there, just like you had the original seed of Bitcoin and you had many offspring that were scalable, had more velocity, more liquidity, uh, solved a unique problem sped things up, had the ability, scalability. <coughs> so it solved the monetary problem. I think Michael and his vision is the exact same thing, but it's more involved. There's more components. There's more um, uh, moving parts to this vision of where he's going. And like I said, as you log in and explore your back office, you're going to see some things that will enlighten you. That'll make you stop and say it's bigger than a phone. It's bigger than a phone. Yeah. It's it's uh, it, it's a cause that I'm willing to put my reputation and in, in my uh, mouth behind, and I don't do that very often. Many of you know I'm a I'm an analytic, and oh, I'm brutal on companies, just brutal, and that's why I don't join many of them, and I haven't. We've been in what two in a decade. We've been joined a lot recently, but we've been actually nothing the past couple of years has really, yeah. really interested us. Um, we are, we only, it's hard. Once you reach a certain point in your life, you, it's, it's hard to, you know, I guess, talk about anything that you're not passionate about. And um, I needed this anyways, I was looking, um, but I am so passionate about this. I love it. Um, Michael proper inspires me with every video that I watch. He just seems like such a, an honest and genuine and down-to-earth guy i mean who wouldn't and there um, it is trust yeah again it trust is, trust is huge where um, are you going to spend your time yeah. where are you going to um devote your assets your time um in building something that um, yeah. is for that ultimate euphoric goal that we're all after is hey yeah. passive residual income does it solve a great problem does it help a lot of people is it fair and equitable is it is it righteous yeah. And uh, my answer is yes. So we're excited so, and we're excited to share it and because we believe in it and we believe that this is something that everybody um, not only maybe needs, maybe you don't need it, but maybe wants. I mean, but I think you do need it. I think oh. Michael's hit the nail on the head when he said, you know, we're moving into, um, we're moving away from fiat currencies. We're the moving into changing. digital currencies. And if you can't protect that and, and all of the data that comes along with that, then you're going to lose a, a lot. Well, like I said, we're yeah. under attack. Yeah, we are. And, 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 and gradual change, you don't know. It. It's like inflation. It's happening. The bag's the same size. The product is half of what it used to be. You get a lot of air. The bag looks, it's the same price. It's not even less expensive. It's one of those hidden things that gradually but slowly suck your wealth from you. Privacy is no different. Our ability to function, make money, accrue, maneuver liquidity, to have assets, to move unilaterally, to have income streams. And oh, by the way, you, at some point we're getting paid what, by Bitcoin and Ethereum? Mm -hmm. So hey, you know, what? 
Uh, like I said, yeah. it supports the whole ecosystem, just like Caleb's training, just like um, uh, Clear United. Every user, everybody that comes in, the more people we get, the higher valuation of Kripka. Forget about all the uh, naysayers and skeptics and uh, crashers and anarchists. And No, we're in this world to adapt, change, react. It's going to be a volatile decade. There's going to be some surprises. There's going to be some crazy, crazy things across the lines of income, equality, um, forgiveness of debt, base pay. I mean, it doesn't stop. So what do you do? How do you combat? How do you conform? How do you resist? What do you do? Well, one of the very first things you can do is get into real money in, in cryptocurrency. Number two, protect your data because yeah. it's, it, it's what's being sold right now. Just like I look at the battle of communications, it's not here on the ground. It's actually in space, satellite, satellite communication, control of data. I want to be somewhere where I feel comfortable, safe, where I can communicate, collaborate with others, whether it be business, whether it be finance, in a secure, protected way. End of story. You keep me and me, so oh, I keep, must be I'm, done. I'm people. kicking my leg. She says, shh. But Stop let, yeah, let's wrap it up. <laughs> okay, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, just for quickly, as a design perspective, I love this way the phone, this phone looks. I mean, I've looked at some blockchain phones, and they look like military phones with push buttons and things sticking out that you cannot slide in your back pocket nicely and easily. And you know, as a, a previous interior designer, uh, sorry, it's got to look good. So, got to love the Lego phone. Glock phones. Yeah. That's what I had someone else comment to me about because people were like, have seen other blockchain phones, I guess. I've seen a couple of the ones and my friend's like, oh, it's, it's not that one that looks like a Lego block, is it? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are like, you just look like, why don't I put my army pants on with them? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but this one looks sexy. It looks great. It's clean. It's professional. I gotta love it. So, all right. Well, I'm I will done. say um, we've kept a lot of people on the line for a lot of a lot of time. So what we're saying and what we're doing must be quite compelling to a lot. Um, we'll get this organized, get this uh, cleaned up, and get a uh, professional presentation um, out there and together. So we can build this network where it's not just me going off on, you know, some tangent of this, that, which I love to do. But, hey, um, at the end of the day, profitability equates to retention and retention equates to long term sustainable income. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to change the world. This is one of those products that can do it. Like it, love it and uh, yeah. get your phone. Um, I think this company is going to blow up this year, Nicole. I do too. Yeah, I, I really think do. we're on a roll. All right. Thanks, guys. So anything you want to say, Caleb, to wrap it up? Yeah, I just want to thank you guys. And I want to thank everyone who came on here uh, this evening or afternoon, now evening, early evening over here at EST. Anyways, for all of your time, and uh, please you know, feel free to uh, message me with all of your questions. I'll answer all of your questions um, as fast as as I, as I can and uh, you know provide all the value sure. that I can however I can help all right all right friends and uh, let's let's start a revolution and protect ourselves um, on a level that we have not been able to in a ever all right so hey, Caleb you want to find uh, gonna start a revolution by the Beatles on music on YouTube and close <laughs> us out with that song oh my god <laughs> you know, if I was so savvy. <laughs> Come on, you can was... do Somebody get, let's do the Beatles. Da, na, na, na. All right. All right, let's see if I can get that real quick here and if it will blast through my right, uh, Let's see if we can speakers. go off rocket. A quick, real quick, I just want to thank you. Thank you, really, thank you both for coming on the call. Today. We appreciate you guys. And Nicole, please extend our warmest thank yous to Michael for hopping on as well. Hi, Andy, Nicole. Hey, Colin. Me? How are Hello you? Hello there. Yeah, I had to butt in. 
because it's quarter to 11 over here in the UK. And my oh, eyes are closed. Six hours past your bedtime. <laughs> yeah. At my age, too, and having the jab, anything could happen. <laughs> How are you, brother? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Let me put the... Sue says hi. She's here somewhere. Hi, Sue. Great. Love you guys. Hi. Great to have both of you. Nice. Great to have both of you. Yeah, good to hear you again, Caleb. Oh, it's good it's, to uh, see you again. Thank it's you. It's great. Yeah, so, yeah, I love the presentation. Love, love it all. Um, uh, yeah, be in touch. Be in touch. Sounds good. All right, guys, so I got the video. Okay, go, Caleb. We can see how it goes here, okay? I'm going to blast it. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> the British invasion, Colin. <laughs> this is Isaac Lose. <laughs> hey, you guys, we had fun. We're going to do a whole lot more of these. Uh, we'll probably get a lot more serious and get into some details. But no, this is expansive. This, uh, there's a lot of components going on here. Uh, align yourself with billionaires, geniuses, and Fortune 500 companies. It'll pay you a lot of dividends for a lot of years. So until then, we're out. See Thank you. Guys you. Yeah, take care, guys. Yeah. Nicole, out. Thank Adios, so friends. Much. Awesome. Cheers, Caleb. Bye. Bye now. <laughs>